Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Juliana. I'm just warning you now, I'm so sorry if the lighting changes a lot throughout this video. The sun's going down, and it always feels like I'm filming when the sun's going down, but we're just gonna ignore that. So, this video is going to be your guide to the rich Korean girl aesthetic. Now, we're going to be discussing a very specific aspect of Korean fashion because I know that there's a lot of different types. I'm talking about the rich girl boss aesthetic that you see in K-dramas, uh, things like Sari from Crash Landing on You. So if we're going to describe this aesthetic, I would see it as like a mix of preppy, classy, elegant, but also uh, modern. Essentially an old money aesthetic, but taken from the perspective of a new money wardrobe. There's a lot more accessorizing than you would typically see in like western fashion and because of this, it can look almost kitsch in a way. If you want to try out this aesthetic but don't really know where to go to buy this type of clothing, I've actually created a little collection in my LTK that I've linked down below. Um, it basically just has a bunch of items that I've handpicked that I think really match this aesthetic and are a great like starter kit. Let's first talk about colors. Um, I'd say it's predominantly a neutral color palette, so you're going to see a lot of whites, creams, browns, that kind of thing. And this really adds to the more elegant and sophisticated vibe of this style aesthetic. If they do choose something colorful, it's likely going to lean more towards pastels, so maybe like baby blue, baby pink, or like lavender. Um, the only dark colors we really see are black or navy blue, and they tend to stray away from jewel tones or primary colors, and you don't really see that much of the warmer colors like orange or yellow. Okay, let's start with outerwear because it's a really big part of the style. This style as a whole is geared more towards spring and winter uh, style trends, so because of that, outerwear is definitely a big part. Tweed is huge in this style and pops up basically everywhere in this aesthetic. You'll see tweed skirts, tweed dresses, tweed handbags, tweed shorts, like the list goes on. The most quintessential garment in this aesthetic, if, you had, if I had to pick one, I would say is the collarless tweed jacket. This jacket, not only in this aesthetic, but as a whole, is symbolic of an old money style and represents affluence in general. So it's definitely an essential thing to pick up if you want to start experimenting with this aesthetic. In terms of other outerwear, look for long wool coats, especially those with sharp shoulders. A common pairing you might see in this rich Korean girl aesthetic uh, with these coats is either a turtleneck or a collared blouse, something that's super frilly and with a high neck. These types of coats really add an aura of elegance to the outfits because they're so structured. And something I noticed in K-dramas a lot is that they like to drape their coat over their shoulders rather than just wearing it normally. I've noticed that it tends to give this very authoritative yet effortless look, um, which is really symbolic of this aesthetic as a whole. So two-piece sets are also super common to see with this style, especially tweed sets. And if you want to try this aesthetic and you're looking for these types of two-piece sets, um, something that I found is really helpful to not make it look too overwhelming or too matchy-matchy is to make sure that certain items are cropped or maybe shorter. In this aesthetic, it's really common to see a shorter mini skirt or a crop jacket, so that way the print or the fabric as a whole is not too overwhelming. The fitted blazer dress uh, is also something that's super common in this style. And in terms of skirts in general, while pleated midi skirts or longer skirts are pretty common and popular in Korea right now, um, I wouldn't say that necessarily aligns with this specific Korean rich girl look. This aesthetic seems to lean more into mini skirt lengths. And there's a general emphasis on showing off the legs while keeping the neckline super high and avoiding any sort of cleavage. And I think you'll notice that with a lot of Asian fashion, they tend to not really emphasize the cleavage as much as maybe like Western styles. But with this style specifically, they tend to make up for that with really ruffled or frilly or heavily detailed blouses. In fact, the most common top or blouse for this aesthetic is one that's collared and often with a huge bow in the center of the chest. And while things like sweaters, like knit sweaters or cardigans are also very common in Korean fashion, we don't see that as much with this Korean rich girl style. For this aesthetic, it's more about sharp shoulders 
or puff sleeves. This style aesthetic seems to track, for the most part, with Korean shoe trends, but at the same time, we're going to be seeing more high heels and stilettos and sharper uh, toe shoes than maybe you'd see with more casual styles. But at the same time, it's not all high heels. I definitely say loafers and chunky boots make a presence and an appearance in these types of outfits. And with loafers and chunky boots, it'll definitely give your outfit a more modern appearance. Ballet flats and slingback heels have also been super trending recently, um, especially ballet flats with socks, whether it's crew length socks or even knee high. So basically in terms of shoes, you can really kind of play with whatever you want and you can make it more grungy or more sophisticated based on how chunky your platform your shoe is. And last but not least, this may or may not be the most important part of these outfits are the accessories. This is an essential part of this aesthetic. Like I said earlier, there's way more accessorizing going on than maybe you'd see in like Western outfits. And in terms of jewelry specifically, they wear a lot of statement earrings and sometimes statement necklaces as well. There's not as much emphasis on like chunky rings or a lot of bracelets. Where the trend in the West has been a lot more of like chunky hoops, like gold hoops or silver hoops, um, for this kind of aesthetic, it definitely leans more into chandelier earrings or just basically like dangly earrings like these. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I've tried to emulate this style um, today. And if we're going to lean into the more old money aspect of this style, um, we'll see a lot of pearl studs as well as diamond studs. This aesthetic loves hair accessories. So things like hairpins, uh, hair bands, hair bows, um, barrettes, all of it is super common. And this level of accessorizing can be a little overwhelming if you're typically someone who's pretty minimalist with your jewelry. But I think it definitely adds to, I guess, like the fanciness or the dressed upness of the outfit, as well as the perceived richness of the individual, which again, it's the rich Korean girl aesthetic. So designer bags are a big part of these outfits, but if you don't have a designer handbag, it's totally fine. You just want to look for bags that are more structured and are between like a small to medium size. Also, look for quilted or tweed materials as these tend to align best with this aesthetic. So yeah, what do you guys think of this aesthetic? Would you try it out? Honestly, I think it's a pretty fun style because of how fancy and dressy it is and how much it makes you feel like the main character. Don't forget to check out the folder of items that I linked in my LTK um, that I think is a really great starter kit for this aesthetic. And yeah, if you like this video and you want to be fashion friends, definitely subscribe. Make sure to head on over to my Instagram and TikTok. I also post a lot of fashion content and style inspo on there as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!